the blacksmith shop then is what a welding shop is now. From shoeing horses to making stuff out of iron, gates, gate hinges, utensils to cook with, to tools to farm with, anything made out of iron, you had to go to the blacksmith. Nails were valuable because they were all individually handmade. Now a machine spits them out, but years back in what I call horse and buggy days, they were all handmade. So blacksmiths were real important. And in, in some countries, blacksmiths even had the authority to marry people because they were that revered because they were that important to a community. Some of those secrets died with them. They didn't pass it along because that was their niche and how they could make money by doing it. So you had to come to them to get that particular deal done. So they may have certain techniques, certain way of making things, and they never taught nobody else how to do that. The gentleman that started our organization wanted to pass the information along. They wanted to start, because blacksmithing was dying out. It was becoming a lost art. And these gentlemen didn't want that to happen. So they started our Missouri Blacksmith Association to pass that information along. So if within our group, if you want to know how to do something or want to learn something, all you have to do is ask one of the other blacksmiths. If they know, know it, they will tell you or will help you learn how to do that process. I'm seeing a movement of kids getting away from electronics, getting back to hands-on. When they start working and making things, they have to troubleshoot and there's a process they got to learn and they see the consequences if you get out of line. So there's math, volume, art, creativity, and history. These old skills teaches a reason to learn. So that's what really pushes me because it's amazing the relationships you can build. Me and my dad used to, we used to make stuff out of metal and didn't go that well because we didn't have a forge. So we came up here to the state fair and we found the blacksmith tent here. And we just decided if I wanted to do it and I decided that, you know, I wanted to join it. So I started doing blacksmithing and it was, it was enjoyable, it was fun. We try to be family oriented, try to get the young kids involved because they're gonna have to keep the art going because this old people aren't gonna be around forever.